What's happening in Lebanon now for the last couple of weeks is an incredibly historic, uh, spontaneous uprising uh, by uh, masses of people. Probably a majority of the population supports the street demonstrations. Peaceful, nonviolent, and essentially they're telling the government, you guys have been in power for like 30 years, uh, you've used this old sectarian system, and you haven't succeeded. The country's falling apart, the environment's falling apart, the young kids have no jobs. Um, electricity, garbage, water, everything is, is deteriorating. We have a huge debt crisis. Uh, the country is on the verge of literally collapsing. And so the message to the political leadership is not just make a couple of reforms. The message is the whole bunch of you have to get out of the way because you failed and we need to create a new government system. So this is really a revolutionary process that wants to completely change the government system. Historically, you really have two Gulf states that have a major role in Lebanon, Saudi Arabia and Iran. The others sometimes help a little bit with, uh, with uh, hosting negotiations or giving development aid, but essentially Iran and Saudi Arabia are the big players, and they use Lebanon as a kind of proxy battleground to try to fight each other and help their own people. The Iranians have been much more successful because they've helped set up Hezbollah and they support it, and Hezbollah is very strong. And the Saudis have been less successful. They've supported Hariri and Sunni leaders, uh, and, and, and the power of Hariri is declining and he just resigned. But you're definitely going to see behind the scenes Iranian and Saudi involvement helping their uh, partners uh, to strengthen their position and somehow uh, try to be part of the new agreement that comes about. This is one of the reasons why Lebanon is so complex, because of this massive internal intervention which often complicates things and um, it means that any kind of political progress needs a long time to happen.